Well, right now I told them, you know, my Monday is going to be spent analyzing, am I asking too much of them, you know, is what I'm asking of them um, outside of, uh, of what, uh, what they can do and what's, uh, what's going to be successful. So, you know, I, I've got to go back and, and see if there's anything that we need to, to adjust to make the transition more comfortable for them. I'm sure every game is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like you learned about your team this past weekend? Um, we need to battle harder. Um, we can't wait for breaks for us to challenge them to, to step up and, uh, and compete. Um, um, you know, not happy with the, the type of goals that uh, that we gave up. Um, you know, but uh, in moments they they fought. In moments they they competed. You know, we earned we out cornered them so we're at least getting uh getting into the other team's uh defensive defensive end a little bit more um you know but we've we've got to have a little bit more bite to us you kind of mentioned it there at the end but what are some positives that you feel like you can pull yeah i mean uh again we you know we we got in there a little bit more um you know Jalissa had a really good look that uh you know we thought was she was going to bury and you know just uh unfortunate that uh that it didn't um you know different players at the end here stepped up in uh in the the group huddle and you know said some really powerful things that needed to be said and you know it's uh we, we've got a long way to go um you know fortunately we have a, a few more games before we get into sec play to, to kind of you know try to put ourselves in the best position to to get some results do you feel like it's the older girls really stepping up and kind of taking it's a combination leadership. it's a combination you know there's there's a lot of different players who are who are stepping up and you know even some players who might not have logged a lot of minutes who you can see you know it matters to which is which is really good um you know but uh we we definitely you know we've got uh we we, we say a lot of the right things we've got to back it up and then you, you made two changes to the starting 11 today. Can you just kind of take us through, you know, why those changes were made and what the goals were with those? Yeah, I mean, um, we we felt like we needed to solidify our, our back line um, a little bit. You know, we uh, we got played through a little bit too easily against uh, against Illinois. So moving Cass back there, just having the experience, having the leadership, and getting Mo back out to the to the outside. You know, the intent, um, you know, with that was to to try to um, try to just solidify things and get people who were gonna who were gonna to compete back there um you know and it wasn't it wasn't terrible in the in the first half you know we go into in a halftime down one uh one nothing and you know putting uh putting Jalissa a little bit higher up the field um you know seeing uh seeing if we can stretch the line a little bit and you know it's uh it, it's a, a piece where um we we can only focus on so much at a, at a time and we have a lot of things to focus on so we've got to prioritize and you mentioned going down 1-0 before the half. That you guys have gone mm -hmm. down in, into halftime 1-0 down both games. Mm -hmm. What's kind of happened? What are you kind of seeing in the second halves that have kind of uh, led to I that? mean, soft goals. I mean, the, the goals that, that we're giving up, um, we're, we're kind of giving to, to the other team instead of making them earn um, in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, and it's credit to them for finishing those, those opportunities. But, uh, you know, we, we've got we've to compete inside our 18s a little bit harder. And then you uh, you replaced uh, Alessio in goal mm -hmm. uh, in the second half. Was that a uh, get this other girl some minutes move or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I think McKenna has you know competed hard throughout the the preseason. She's uh, she's good with her distribution with her with her feet, and you know we we've been bleeding goals. So you know why not make a change and give her the opportunity to to see what she can do. You kind of touched on it, but next few days for your next game, what does it look like? Uh, again, as a staff, we've got to go back to the drawing board. We've got to really, um, you know, break down both games and, and see again is what we're trying to ask of them um, outside of their comfort zone too far, um, and you know what is what do we think is going to put this group in the in the best position based on what they bring to the table now, uh, not based on where we want to take the program. And you mentioned earlier that you guys had a lot of opportunities on set pieces. What mm -hmm. do you think the uh, the key is to making sure that you capitalize on? Yeah, this? grittiness. I mean, just a will to battle inside the inside the 18s. That's what it comes down to uh, on both both ends of the field. You know, on the attack, we got to be first to the ball, and on defensively, we've got to be first to the ball as well. And then you mentioned Indiana State next. What do you know about them and how are you nothing. going into that game? <laughs> I know nothing about them. Um, you know, we've been focused on, on our team and trying to, trying to have them ready. And, you know, we have to do a better job of that.